Um, my name is Jared Quake Campbell. Uh, I'm a former football player for the University of Miami. I'm a younger brother of Calais Campbell, who plays for the Baltimore Ravens, and I'm also a comedian. And I came all the way from LA to let you guys know the Arizona Cardinals fucking suck. <laughs> exact response I wanted from this. You guys know your teams are laughing and stuck. This, this is not just biasness. No, I'm not doing this from a bias standpoint. I'm doing this from fact-based research and I'm going to share with you, all right? The first reason why they're a terrible team is they cut me in 2011. The team's fucking cursed now. They'll never want to check me this year. I'm the best thing to happen to their franchise. Secondly, they never won a championship, and in fact, the closest they ever got, they let a 300-pound man run a 99-yard interception back for a touchdown, something Buda Baker could never do. <laughs> Plus, they ruined Larry Fitzgerald's career, all right? The man has caught touchdowns from 21 different quarterbacks. The only person who's caught more balls from men is Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I always tell women, anytime I meet a woman, I'm like, please fall in love with an Arizona Cardinal fan because they can stick around in misery. <laughs> and your quarterback is the same size as Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray is the same size as Kevin Hart. <laughs> yeah. Plus, he's cute, too. He looks like a background dancer for a K-pop band. <laughs> I'm waiting for his pull-ups commercial, Eric, because you know he's in one, right? <laughs> And Coach Bruce Arians was in this team and he sucked. He goes two years with a good quarterback and a good franchise and he wins a Super Bowl. Meanwhile, your coach Cliff Kingsbury looks like a stunt double for Ryan Gosling. <laughs> now, I gotta look at my notes because I'm roasting you guys, but I'm fucking up. <laughs> oh, the Arizona Cardinals are a terrible team in primetime too. The most boring team in football. In fact, the Arizona Cardinals have put more people to sleep there in primetime than Bill Cosby. Oh. Oh, yeah, I said that. The Cardinals have three of the oldest receivers in football, A.J. Green, DeAndre Hopkins, and Larry Fitzgerald. I'm sure their meeting room smells like Ben Gay. <laughs> and speaking of Ben Gay, your former teammate, Kerry Rose, could have been the first player ever to come out as openly gay, but like most Cardinals skill positions, he dropped the ball. <laughs> yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Any of you guys are great at ruining careers. My brother Calais would have had an amazing career. He spent 10 years here. It wasn't until he left his first year he became all pro. <laughs> and you guys were like the, what the Wizards were to Michael Jordan, the three Hall of Fame running backs. Emmitt Smith, Adrian James, and Adrian Peterson had the worst years of their career here at the Cardinals, which means you guys are the sequel of movies for these guys. They have a rush out with three and a hangover three. Terrible movies. <laughs> Plus, Russell Wilson should get a humanitarian award. Not only is he stepfather and future's child, but he also fathers 53 grown men on the Cardinals roster year in and year out. Oh. Yeah, he's your daddy. I said it. I said it. Fight me after the show. <laughs> Man, this is going to lose you guys. And the most famous player in the Cardinals' career is Pat Tillman, and he's not even good at football. Hey. That's not an insult. I'm just stating the same facts, all right? He's known for other things outside of football. I love the guy. <laughs> Your GM's a drunk, Steve Klein is a drunk, he's got two DUIs, and it also explain why he drafted Josh Rosen with the 10th overall pick in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> and the Cardinals have more DUIs than any other team, which is expected because you lose majority of your games. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta be done. I love the Cardinals secretly, guys, but I have to do this because I want to record this and send it for other teams. Secretly, I love the Cardinals. You guys have been a great sport, I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate all you guys. I could do more jokes, but I kind of feel like you guys have been here for a while between improv and comedy. It might not fit as much for me to be doing these shitty. You guys want more jokes or no? Yeah! All right, I didn't expect you guys to do yeah, so now I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, this is a new